Oh, you flipping nightmare. Right, it's fucking done me. Oh, we're in the tree. Oh, tit in tits. Right, we're 15, 10 or 15 minutes in. Right, so. Land's end. On peg 33 on the special pool, which is probably the best peg on the way. And you're just starting by just dobbing a maggot. Or double maggot, dobbing double maggot just up this left hand edge for a start. Just to see what we can hook. We've had a small tench, a perch and a roach. Um, Three people in the section have caught one carp so far. Well, I say caught one carp. The guy next to me, Steve, he's playing one now. Which, if he lands that one, that'll be three people in the section that have got at least one carp. Hey. Little line bite there makes me wonder if I might have to come shallower on this line. Little indications that I'm not hooking. Because um, obviously a lot of rain went in the water venue yesterday. So maybe the fish are up in the water. Because he when he the and I can uh, maybe have to come shallow later, <laughs> do some dobbing the shallow. But I just wanted to go full depth, see what was there. I went straight in. Two maggots on the hook. It's not settled there at all. So I don't think it's grabbed hold of it or it's like over over a snack. So I put it back in again. Um, yeah, I'm straight in a little tench. And then I've had an okay perch and a little roach, which obviously you're going to get a maggot. I've got a little rock baits with me. Um, I've plumbed up towards that aerator, which is what a lot of people have told me to do here. Fish meat on, for, for put meat on there, but I've not fed anything. I just want to let the fish, I'm told the fish naturally congregate in that area, so I don't want to put any bait in. I want the other people that are fishing for their carp to push them into that area. <coughs> I'll save them for later. And, uh, the only bait I've put in is a shorter line to me right. Where I've um, where I've put some ground bait in some bait. Have another little go on the maggot and then if this don't produce any then I might have a little look over another line or something, I don't know. <coughs> you get him out? Hey. How big was he? Foul hooked or in the, in the truck? Just fighting hard. It's cold, yeah. yeah. The the water's cold. The water's not that cold though. They got a bit of energy, didn't they? Not only that for this place, it had a full tail. <laughs> oh, we're in the tree. <laughs> so it did fight the tail. In the <laughs> fucking tree, or out the tree. So that there's a fish there, grab that on the way down, probably a silver fish. I've got this rig strung out, trying to fall with anything that's in here. I'm not fishing super tight to the bank because if it was snaggy, I've actually hooked a couple of snags on the bottom. When I get tight to the bank, I'll probably come off the deck. It's a little bit shallower, closer to the bank there, it just comes up and it's all debris, but I'll probably come a couple of feet off, a couple of it. Yeah, a foot or two off the bottom. Let the float drift in there, probably. <coughs> Fishing quite delicate, small hooks. Just trying to catch anything that's runs a lot of left lines, lots of skimmers, lots of tension things, and just trying to get bites at the minute. It's interesting that I'm only catching small fish with a maggot on, so it's not the time to swap some. I've been very quiet today, so I've got a guy right on the peg next to me. Nice. Good size roach. Well, people are only catching odd carp, I'm not too worried. OK, 
catching silvers, Tom. <coughs> only, only roach apart from the 18 skimmers, lad. <laughs> <laughs> 18 skimmers and 25 S1s, but he's only had rope. Good old Tom. Right then, guys, we've been going for, I don't know, about half an hour or so now, I'll tell you actually. I'm going for 45 minutes. I've been dobbing down that left hand edge with maggots, and I've been getting a lot of silverfish, a lot of. Um, a lot of perch, roach, a couple of small tench, even a one little skimmer. And it's just not been... I feel like there's better fish there, but I can't get through to them. So what I've done is I'll just put an, an expander on. When that first time missed a bite, I thought, oh, this is the bait come off. This is going to be a nightmare if this keeps happening. But gone out a second time, I've got this, which I think is a proper carp. Certainly bigger than anything we've got so far. I've not put a dripper bait in on this line yet, we're just sitting there, hoping that the fish are just there, dobbing them on the bottom, full depth. Just in that court, just up against that edge. It's good pegs, these pegs, because you've got edges, these end pegs at land's end. Sometimes you've got good edges that you can get down. Some days the fish are there and it's solid. What's Tom got on? Oh, you flipping nightmare. Right. Come back with a scale, so maybe it was foul locked. Catch in a bit. Right, guys, taking us two hours talking to the carp. That one we lost, got a better rock on this time. Just noticed a few carp showing themselves at the back of the swim. I tried with the lines, I've had a few roach on the sort of silver's line, but nothing major. Gone over my deep water meat line, I've not had on that yet, so I've just topped it up again. And so what I've done is I've just shallowed a rig off. I could see some carp at the back of the swing, so I've just shallowed a rig up. I mean, I can't see them there all the time, but I'm, you know, they keep showing them. So I've shallowed a rig up, up half depth, slow forward, a big chunk of meat on. Just won't get out, it's gone straight under first putting. Skipper! Well, I've had it on the drop straight away. So hopefully it's one of the big boys that live in here. Because there's some really big fish in this lake. It's only got quite a light up there, so I can't go mad with it. But I've got a better up that won't, it shouldn't pull so easily. I don't know what John's catching them on. Hardly catching them, I've got one. <laughs> I'm stocking baits about, to be honest with you, Tom. How are you? I am stocking baits right here. Don't matter what he puts on in this swim, Tom. Everything goes round, it's solid, honest. <laughs> no matter what he does, he just keeps pulling out skimmers at the net. Nice skimmers, aren't they? They're nice skimmers. Hopefully this is one of the proper ones. Can't tell you. Yes, yes, Tom is the answer to your question. It's only three pound. One of your little three pounders, Tom. Yeah.
Come on, swim out, you little bleeder. That's it. Well, we can actually put some on the clicker. It took us two hours. It took me two hours to catch a carp. We need to on the best peg on the lake. I was getting my golf clubs out of this right, wasn't I? <laughs> Cheers, Tom. Swing it past like that. I'm not even going any further over the pole, so I'm not trying not to push the fish away from me. Not sure if that was uh, not sure if the meat sinks the float. Oh, might have to take a shot off. I know the meat might be sinking the float on this. Say again. F1s? What, on the, on the point of the island? There's been a couple of fish on the point of the island all day. I say that the, fl the float's not sinking, the fl that's not sinking the float now, because it seems to be a bit of a must have been a bite. Gotta watch, because roach will. I think I might have been on a snack bag. The roach will pester us the meat. I'm just going to take a shot off. Three, four, five, six. I feel like there's a shot, come on. Are you talking to me, Tom? What's he asking me if I'm fishing bread? No bread, mate. I would, I would be if I could be, but I ain't brought any with me. I feel like it's too warm to be dobbing, really, but. You know, there's a lot of fish in this swim, isn't there? So. I've been dubbed for them all the time. Another one. Just squeezing that meat to let it fall slightly. Ping a couple of bits, mate. Don't go mad. Just ping a few bits. Just in that area. This is like a really big fish. When it wants to go, it just goes. That's not an absolute hit. I've never had up to 19 pound out of this lake. Feels like one of the better ones. I'm only fishing a white last think eleven. Which could come back to bite me if this fish decides to come and do me another platform or something, but the lightest line to try and fall these fish into having it. Got 
He's gone under there. Right, oh, he's fucking done me. Bloody done me down the edge. He's gone right under there, the whole rig's under. Undercut me. I don't know how you're supposed to get around there to deal with it. These slippy platforms. I'm gonna fall in if I ain't careful. Not yet. I don't think so. Ah, I lost every, lost a lot. That was a big one, that was. Very big fish. Oh. Well, so much got to go in because nothing else happened yet. <laughs> Right, I'd better tie another rig up, hadn't I? Right, guys, we lost a fish at our feet, which you may have seen. I can't remember if I put the cameras on again. I hooked another fish. I hooked a couple more fish. I lost a rig up the tree. I had problems with rigs. I had all sorts of issues. And what often that what I found was that I could swing a swing a bit of meat into that hole, and there was fish there. But I've had a couple, and now I can't catch them. So I've come back into the bank with my maggot. Me and my delicate maggot rig, and I've got the proper fish now, so I'm a bit worried because I've got a size 20 silverfish hook on. I don't want to pull the hook out of it. Anyway, this is fighting. It's a very big fish. I mean, it's just created a swirl on the surface, and the whole rig is under the water, so it's a very big fish. Sorry to go on a wander, so let him go. Just tapped a little bit of pellet in. I know if it couldn't get a bite over it, so then I left it while I topped up uh, the other lines because I thought, right, things have got away from me a little bit. I've made went a little bit in the match there. I have to make up two rigs, lost them both. One's been up a tree, one's been done down the edge here. And uh, things ain't right. Is that beanie the same fish, or are you up to another one? Ooh. Flying over there. Ooh. Yeah, so I've had a bit of a disastrous match up to now. I should be pissing this section. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm struggling if I'm in, I'm struggling to stay in the top three at the minute. Um, Tom turned two pigs to me right, he's had a couple of, he's had four or five nice carp and he's had some really good skimmers. So he's probably winning the section. Beanie opposite's had, that's it, the guy opposite there, I'm not fish, that's at least his third. So, I'm struggling against him as well. But I've hooked enough fish today. I've, I've, I've lost two, I've, I've had an up length snapped. I've pulled out of one at the net, which you saw. I've had one do me under the platform. That puts me right in the mix, and fish. And so, you know, it's my own fault. And then my head's gone a little bit, and I've started to lose my way, so I've just yeah. given myself a little bit of a telling off. It's a nice fish. So I had to give myself a bit of a telling off. And I've just decided to look up top, go back to all your original lines, feed them all up again. We're definitely having a bit of a munch today. Go a bit tighter into that far bank, which is what, where I've caught this one, and just try again to catch whatever you can.
I'll probably put some feedback in after this one again. Oh, tit in tits. Oh, tit in tits. He was in the mouth as well. It's, I'd like to tell you that things got better, but they didn't, it just got worse. What you saw was, wasn't even halfway through the match, or maybe just past halfway through the match actually. And I think I've lost more fish after, after I stopped filming than I did before, you know, whilst I was filming. Um, essentially what's happened is um, I've set up a new line to the, up to the, um, up to the left hand edge that I've got there to fish with, uh, with pellets after that meat line long had died and I've just started catching really well for an hour or so towards the end. Well, not catching, I've been hooking fish really, really well, but it's not landing any. I'll probably land two or three more fish. Um, I have obviously nicked fish from here and there on lines because I've ended up weighing 61 pounds. So I've had a good day's sport. I only needed 68 pounds to win the section, believe it or not, but I was only seven pounds behind the section winner, but that actually put me fourth in section because it was such a close section. So on top of the frustrating day where you lose a lot of fish and you should be comfortably winning a section, you actually miss out then by one fish. So you start thinking about all the ones that you pull too hard, trying to rush, trying to you know salvage something when you've made so many mistakes. So perhaps this is a lesson for me. I should have just chilled out a bit more and got on with it. But it's, I thought I'd put this video out because it's a good laugh in it to see see things going wrong. Um, it's probably ruined my league, but then my league wasn't going so well anyway, so it's not a big deal. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Uh, tune in for another one. Bye.